Every day I spend a considerable amount of time with our animals. Some would consider most of it as boring chores or strenuous physical labour. And some of it is. But I enjoy my time with the animals hugely. It makes me feel better. And I think this is true for other humans as well. Say hello. Hello, Annie. As humans, we tend to do a lot of human centered things and mostly engage only with other humans. If that's going well, it can make us feel good. But humans are not all there is to life on this planet. I would suggest that to engage and interact with other species is very, very important for us. After all, it's the way humans have lived from the beginning. And surprisingly, this contact can often be more relaxing and rewarding and easier for us humans than socialising with people. Especially for the people amongst us who, for whatever reason, struggle with social skills, communication or confidence. I was raised in a city. It was a very people-focused world and not always easy. Luckily, I regularly visited a local riding stable. I would suggest that these early feel-good experiences eventually led me to the way we are living now. and triggered in me a passion to share this feel-good environment with others who might benefit from it like I do. So I became a social worker and then trained as a therapeutic riding coach. And now people come here to hang out with the animals, help care for them and go horse riding. Mm -hmm. We need more red now. <laughs> more red. Maybe we need a mixture of red and yellow together. <laughs> yeah. I mixed all the my paint up on my hands. Yeah. Oh, I can see your hand. It's not too difficult to notice how good it can be for people to be around animals. But there's a bit of science behind it all to prove that it actually works on an objective level. The animals we have are mostly soft and fluffy and warm. To touch them and hug them feels pleasant. Some of them are very sweet to watch and a joy to hold. We touched a chicken before. To touch him. No, he's all right. He's just he's, he's so scared of everything new. But he would never, never do anything. These experiences trigger in us empathy, a sense of belonging, and a wish to bond. For people who struggle with these issues in our human world, caring for an animal is the first step. Henry's a little bit stinky. You <laughs> see. <laughs> Are you a bit stinky, Henry? He is. The animals we keep depend on us for their food, shelter and health. Everyone who gets involved in the daily tasks of looking after our animals learns a lot about animal and plant science. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> they also need to be reliable and committed to the tasks they are given. This gives them a sense of purpose and achievement, which in return makes them feel better. Our animals are friendly and peace-loving, and curious and interested in whoever meets them. Sheep, say something, sheep. Nah. Now, there we go. Burr. Nah. Their interest is genuine and not conditional. This boosts people's self-esteem and confidence. 
Horses in particular have a lower heart rate than us humans. When we hang out with them, our bodies tend to adjust. We calm down and relax. Our horses are strong and quite big. To lead or ride such a powerful animal is empowering. People need to be in charge, though, to make this interaction safe. This way, they learn to assert themselves. They learn to plan ahead and pay attention, to regulate their emotions and communicate clearly and fairly with the horse. Ready? Ready. Uh, red, um, three, two, one, go. Now, Joshua, over here. Oh, come on, Ready. Horseback riding engages a multitude of muscles in the rider's body. Oh! Sorry, Tim! <laughs> have a little emergency stop! Uh, yes, I see. That's fine, I think. Speed up! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, really? Just go a little further. Forward, forward! Forward, forward! Keep on! Okay, keep on. It is a fantastic way to enhance balance, coordination, motor planning skills, sense of movement and muscle tone. Oh, 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 coming, 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 crash! <laughs> and the horse eats the camera. <laughs> With very young children I go back riding where I am seated behind a young person. I can secure their position on horseback, offer them deep pressure by holding them, and talk to them from my position behind them, which isn't as intense as face-to-face -face contact. This is appreciated especially by children on the autism spectrum and by very young riders who might be a bit anxious about riding. When people come here for a session, of course it is paramount to us that they and the animals stay safe and come to no harm. But apart from that, we encourage people to take the lead, to show us what interests them and what they'd like to do. We encourage them to be creative, think outside the box and perhaps most importantly, be silly and have fun. Over here? Over here? Yeah. Kind of there? Yeah. yeah. Like that? Yeah. Some people just relax and wind down. Others actually learn riding or help us feed the animals. Some people have a diagnosis or condition of some sort, others don't. What matters is that they want to hang out with us and our animals, because it makes them feel better in some way. So, as you can see, the benefits of what we offer here are multiple and reach from physical, emotional, social to educational and we can vouch for the positive effects. We test them every day anew.